Hi here, in this lecture, I want to construct side-by-side -side pie chart of the Ebola virus data. Alright, let's get started here by importing the necessary libraries, namely pandas, matplotlib.pyplot, and cbom. And let's load uh, the Ebola data frame. Let's take a quick look at the data frame. All right, so I want to construct a pie chart respectively for Guinea and Sierra Leone. The slices will be the type, all right, and the variable of interest we will use is def. Okay, so here you can see that I imported uh, the same graphic parameters I'm using, like the figure size. Okay, these are things that once you define it, no need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, here I'm importing uh, RC params, fix, figure that fix size equal 12, 8. So weight of 12, height of 8. And then as for colors, I have already selected a set of colors that I like. Again, you can go to uh, colorbrewer2.org. And uh, if you want, let's say, nine colors, you select nine here, and then you just copy this. If it's not suitable, uh, let's say you can go here and, you know, copy this and c create the list of, uh, uh, of the colors that you want for your application. So that's how, uh, and once you find a, a, a set of colors that work well with you, for you, you can use it uh, for your graphs. All right. So let's go back. I'm going to use uh, this set of colors as opposed to the default. The next thing I need to do is define the label and the sizes for Guinea and Sierra Leone. All right. But before I can do that, I must define a, a, a data frame for Sierra Leone and a data frame for Guinea. Okay, so I will say Sierra equal DF. All right, DF uh, countries, countries equal to. Sierra Leone. All right, so this will create a data frame for Sierra Leone. Uh, for Guinea, same uh, procedure. So I will say DF, DF uh, countries equal to Guinea making sure that the cases are respected. And let's execute this and take a look. All right, this is Sierra Leone. Okay, now let's take a look at Guinea. All right, this is Guinea. So now we have two data frames that are separated and we can work on each one for the, the chart. So I will create a label for Sierra Leone. I'm going to call it uh, label that Sierra. That will be uh, the Sierra data frame. And uh, we just need uh, the type variable from that. So type, okay, likewise sizes for Sierra the size variable that would be Sierra um, def we are using the def okay now I can do the same thing for Guinea so I will say labels 
that uh, Gini equal uh, Gini all right uh, type likewise I do the same for the sizes equal uh, sizes uh, Gini sizes uh, def for each case the defs are the sizes one thing once I, I define this I can just copy paste and then make the changes but let's go with that everything is uh, defined now all right for plotting we because we want to do a side by side we need to use the subplot feature and the way it works is like we're defining a PLT that sub plot. It's going to be one row chart. So one row and then two pi. All right. So one row, two column, and the first chart will be here in the last, the, 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 the last uh, parameter. That's the first chart. So I say PLT that sub plot one for the row two the number of uh, uh, chart and the one here is the position for the first chart so once i do that i can come here and say plt dot pi and here i can uh, uh, use uh, my first chart so it will be sizes sierra all right then i can say labels equal labels for sierra uh since i define the colors i will say colors equal colors then uh, auto pct that will be uh, a one one decimal place for the percent. So I will do a percent 1.1 F uh, 2 percent. Basically one decimal place and I want a percent sign. That's why I have a, an extra percent here. Uh, next uh, we can use uh, the shadow. Shadow equal to that's not necessary but start angle equal uh, let's say 150 we can always uh, use uh, any angle all it's going to do is just position the slightly the slices a little bit differently all right so then I can follow it with a title, PLT that title. Uh, pie chart of Sierra Leon Ebola devs. Okay. All right. Next, we are ready to define uh, our second chart for Gini. So PLT subplot one, two, two. So the first chart was uh, Sierra Leone. The second chart will be uh, Gini. So instead of uh, um, Okay, we can type the same thing or copy paste and then replace. So we can say plt.py uh, sizes uh, underscore guinea labels equal 
labels underscore guinea colors equal colors auto PCT equal uh, percent 1.1 F percent 2 percent signs we're going to use the shadow equal uh, shadow equal to all right uh, same start angle so for the sh second shirt plot is guinea and here we're going to give it the title so plt that title pie chart of Guinea Conakry Ebola deaths. All right. Then uh, to have the uh, chart, the two chart not to collide and be well positioned. There is an extra parameter called tight layout plt dot tight layout. So it makes sure that the chart are laid out with that collusion that you know well positioned. So this is very important. And finally, let's show the chart. Okay, let's go quickly over what we have done. We did define the label for Sierra Leone, so it's going to be the type for Sierra Leone. We defined the variable of interest, which is the size is Sierra Leone, which is uh, the def. Likewise, we did the same for Guinea. And because we want to have a side-by-side -side chart, we need to use the subplot. Uh, it's going to be one row. All the chart will be in one row. That's where the one stands for. The two means that we will have two uh, chart. And the one saying that Sierra Leone will be the first position. So that's why we define the Sierra Leone information here. And once we are done, we start the second subplot and define Guinea. Finally, we use tight layout to make sure that the two charts doesn't do not collide and they are well uh, positioned. And then we are ready to take a look. All right, voila. Now you can see they don't collide, they are well separated. And uh, this is uh, um, Sierra Leone, 90.7% deaths. Uh, for the confirmed cases, Guinea, it was 82.1% deaths. Now, for probable cases, um, Guinea was 17.9% death, whereas Sierra Leone was only 5.3% death. And suspected cases for Sierra Leone was 4%, whereas Guinea didn't have suspected cases. So this is how we construct a side-by-side -side chart, basically using the subplot and uh, repeating the plot that we want to have in each subplot, you know, making sure if, if the defining uh, element is the country, we just do it for each country. All right. Thank you.